says we're live. Okay. See if anybody comes on. If this thing's working. You know. Let's go to live chat. And pop out. Got one like, but think nobody in the room. How the heck does that happen? No, it says one person. I'm not quite sure how that works like that. Evidently, it does. Hello, Betty. Hey, Betty. It just now sent me a notification saying that it. We're on live. Can you hear us good, Betty? Okay, good. Good. That's good. I have to ask because sometimes I just don't want to cooperate. So we've got two now. We can stay on for a few minutes tonight. We can't stay on a real, real long time. Hey, Panhandle. Hey, Panhandle. How you doing, buddy? Carthage. Wow. You getting around there, Orange, bud? Got three more. Yep. Just having a look at phone as you started. Yeah. Yeah, she said she just got a message saying it was on. Um, probably about a minute after it was already on. So it must have taken about a minute to yeah. show up. Well, mine popped on since I turned it on. Oh, did it? Mm-hmm. Keep the wheels rolling. Yeah, sounds <laughs> like sound like you keep them roads hot. Somebody got to do it, though. Yeah. I got, oh, I meant to ask you, Panhandle, uh, being a truck driver, did uh, that uh, the boycott, the truck driving boycott on New York, uh, did that affect you in any way? You know, where the truckers was refusing to go into New York because of the Trump deal? What state? Carthage. Uh, ain't that Pennsylvania? I don't know. Guess mm -hmm. what happened? Wisconsin, that's college, Missouri, M-O, Missouri, Carthage, Missouri, yep, you know what, I'm glad to stay away from New York, uh, that's a good thing, I guess, I don't know if they're still, if the truck drivers are still boycotting New York, or, I mean, I don't know, I haven't heard anything, I haven't seen anything on the news. I haven't any. Yeah. That's that's like everything else ought to be. It'd be all over the news for a day or two and then you won't hear nothing else about it. Just here and there. So we got six people in now, so Yeah. It's a party now. <laughs> hey Justin. Starting your streams earlier now. Yeah. Well. No, we usually start about nah, eight. No, nah, it's actually it's about the same time. Our time went up, Justin. Or back. What did it do? It's we went up. Yeah, we went up. We went up ahead an hour, Justin. So. It's cool, but the city is no go. 
Yeah, New York City, I don't much I don't much care for that. That's just too much for me. Yeah, because we fall back and spring ahead. Mm -hmm. Can you hand me a couple? Thank you. Upstate New York is no go. So we try to whenever we start one, Justin, we try we try to do it around eight o'clock. That way we're both home and we stay down for an hour or so. A few new jokes. <laughs> Love Dinky Better video. <coughs> Thank you, baby. <laughs> Unless you're hauling salsa. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. I see where Alana was on spring break or something, wasn't she? Probably. Is the baby already on spring break out there, Justin? <laughs> no, I ain't no glove. Thank you, Betty. I was just uh, I was trying to go over it. I should have filmed it, you know, like when I was making it and stuff, but I was just trying to make it and didn't think nothing about it. And I wasn't home to hold the camera. Yeah. But, I mean, so far, it's holding perfect temperature and perfect humidity. So, I mean, so far, I mean. We'll see how it works out. Yeah, she's on spring break. That's what I thought. Is I seen something on Facebook on Alana's oh, page. Yeah, that's awful early though. It ain't springtime yet. Well, you know, here they don't go on it until like they have Easter break, then they go back for a week, and then they have spring break. Be home in a couple weeks for a whole week. That'd be good. Oh, that's cool. Get out of the truck for a week. That'd be good. Well, I guess it's spring and summer up there, all, over there all the time because he's in the desert. So, yeah, I know a friend of mine was telling me that they go on Easter break and then they go back for a week and then they go on spring break here. The kids. Hmm. I don't even think they have a winter out there where is that? Yeah, definitely, Betty. Gotta leave more comments since YouTube likes them. Yeah. I'll be fuck this trip out. Ooh. I'll be ten weeks in the truck this trip. Oh wow, yeah. That's a good little aisle. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think it um I think Betty now I'm not real sure, but um this is where uh, uh, like a, um, a guru from YouTube needs to chime in. <laughs> Arkansas. I'm, we got uh, 759 subscribers right now. Yeah, we got like five or six today. I mean, yeah, yeah. So we need 240 more. Yeah, 41. 241. But yeah, I, th I think somewhere or another the comments and likes and uh, thumbs up and all that crap on the videos. I think that that triggers the algorithm some way or another and it tells it to push your videos out to more people. Ordered the hardware cloth from eBay. Yeah, go cool. yeah. <clears throat> That's a really good deal on that stuff because, like I said, mm -hmm. 25 feet of it is 80 bucks. We use a lot of that. <laughs> yeah, we're going to have to order like four or five more of Just for the grow area. Yeah. <clears throat> We got the panels moved. I just still got to finish taking some stuff apart up there. Y'all need an Amazon store? Yeah. <clears throat> I tried to, I, I looked into it, but they said we had to have so many. I mean, we got to be approved, you know, and we don't have enough like subscribers and stuff like that to get an Amazon deal yet. There's another store I looked into. I can't remember like affiliate thing, like links and stuff. Um, I looked into it, but uh, they said we didn't qualify yet. I guess because we're a new channel. This we can help with comments. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, for sure. 
I try to answer them. Uh, Mayor Harry one tries to answer them. Uh, if we ain't driving or something like that, we'll try to answer them because it pop, as soon as somebody leaves a comment, it pops up on our phones. Yeah. And I, I try to answer it right then when I can. Unless I just don't see it because, just to be honest with you, I'm eye blind now. So. I try to unless I'm working and real busy. Just bought 10 panels for the cow pen. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, cool. The other day I seen a. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Ashton and Zach ain't chimed in tonight neither. Uh -uh. Ashton be on here in a few minutes. He'll be on that delete button there, buddy. About <laughs> ten pounds for the cow pen. Yeah. <laughs> What do you mean panels are paint handles uh, like the cattle panels or like solar panels? What are you talking about? Like uh, fence panels? Fence, okay, fence panels, yeah. Yeah, it's honestly it's just as easy to buy them prefabricate pre-welded panels, you know, like sixteen foot panels. It's just as easy to do, easy to do that now as it buy is to buy wire. Probably cost a little more, but it will last a hundred times longer, probably. Yeah, I bet they did get expensive. Oh, I'll bet. Yeah, but if you, I mean, if you can afford it, that's the way to go. I mean, it beats pulling wire and mm -hmm. everything else. Yeah, exactly. Way even quicker. We got about 10 acres of wire we need to pull. But... It's easier said than done. Yeah. Right now, financially, it just ain't possible. We just try to do what we can. A little at a time. Of course, it's in the right direction. I mean, at least we're moving forward, I guess. We have a lot of T posts. Yeah. I think I'm going to try. Um, I don't know if I mentioned this or not, but when we start putting our fence posts in, we're going to use wooden posts. I'm actually going to buy landscape timbers, and uh, she's going to, I think I did mention that before. Yes, the way we did. Yeah. The other one's up the barn right now. There's a house on fire. It's on my house. <laughs> I don't know, Justin. Did you get a ton of wire? A ton of wire, yeah. I got, um, I do have uh, one roll of uh, field wire, like the no climb fence. I got one of that. Me and Jordan run it down the hill and stop because I ran out of uh, po post that was already in the ground. So the rest of us just rolled around a pole down there. Um, but I have two rolls of bob wire. I was going to go around the top of it with like one strand of bob wire around the top. thought about going around the top up with like electric wire but it going through them woods and stuff like that would be kind of pointless because it's something to grow on it or file on it or something <clears throat> so we got a drill pipe for the corner post oh yeah That'd we ain't been long arkansas about 13 minutes. Yeah, we ain't been on long, but
they're talking about um, Ben's post and wire right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm nice enough first. And Justin's got us a few jokes in there. <laughs> and jokes. <laughs> and jokes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, me too, Panhandle. Well, both us, us too, uh, yes. I mean, we got tons of stuff that we really need to do. I hope we have time to do it. Before the world turns to crap. I'd like to at least get the, the grow area straightened out, you know, before... Everything goes south, but my next big purchase is solar. Yeah. When you get ready to do that, if you'll let me know, I, uh, I know a bunch of places to get panels and stuff like that. Oh, we drew time and money. Yep. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> Speaking of that, I remember whenever uh, you and your brother was babies, like little bitty babies, you know, because uh, I was I was holding Justin and I was bouncing around. I laid him down and picked up Dustin and I was bouncing him around. I laid him down and Dustin had crap right in my hand. Big pile of crap right in my hand. Did you uh, do a video on the power bank you built? Uh, you talking about, you mean the, the portable one I said was not portable? Or is that the one you're talking about? Uh, my when we first come to the property i tried to make what a portable thing you know like for the camper that way we can kind of get it out and roll it around uh no I, I was a long time ago before we even knew anything about putting videos on youtube but uh i made it and you know just to be honest with you i think i still have the box somewhere it's down there in the building no it's, yeah. a, it's a little wooden box a little with a lid on it with the oh. yeah um is that the one that was attached to the camper? I don't remember. I don't know. Yeah, it's, I'll have to look. Because there's a great big one down there where you're going to build the um, Yeah, I still, got, I still got like 14 or 16 batteries in it. Uh, my intention was to make it portable. But uh, after I put the batteries and inverter and everything in it like that, mm -mm. Grill a car, yeah. I mean, I really don't know how much it weighed, but I couldn't move it myself. Well, somebody come and got one. That guy didn't. Oh, no, that was, uh, that was uh, the battery that I built. Oh. That one, he's talking about something totally different. He's talking about the original memory number. First, I made that little wooden box. And uh, like, I think I put four batteries in it. And then we're like supposed that to. big, yeah. Well, no, it was bigger than that. But it had four batteries in it. It was either four or six batteries in it. And then very had that thing. lid that opened. Yeah. 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 But yeah, the, a thousand pound cart, that ought to do it. I mean, ought to, ask, ought to do it good. Because I'm going I'm to say it didn't weigh no more than, I know it didn't weigh this much, but I'm going to, I know it didn't weigh over 200 pounds. So, but it was, it was heavy enough to where I had to drag, I couldn't lift it, I had to drag it. We had one on my other Facebook that, that's not it. No, that was the one to the house I built and put on the back porch. That's the one that we had at the other house, ain't it? Yeah. And what batteries they use? I used uh, deep cycle batteries, like, you know, like boat batteries or whatever. I found a place in South Carolina that uh, sold them. They're Duracell brand batteries, and uh, they was re remanufactured, I guess, you know, made back new or whatever. And there was like 40 bucks a piece. And I went down there and bought a bunch of them. I, I'd go down there and buy like 10 or 12 at a time. But right now, um, you can buy uh, LiPo batteries, you know, way cheaper than that now. But you got to have a uh, BMS on them and all kinds of stuff. But thousand pound grill is a big ape. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's a rather large size. That's one of them silverbacks. But I'd look into something like uh, 
lithium type batteries before I, I went with something like I did then because that, that's old technology in it you <clears throat> okay so if you got um if you got six batteries uh deep cycle marine batteries and they're flooded lead acid batteries you can only use half of that battery before you start damaging the battery uh so you de you technically only got three so <clears throat> that's the only bad thing about uh, the old school flooded like golf cart batteries that people use and stuff like that you can only use half the capacity of that battery before it starts damaging the battery <clears throat> so from 100 to 50 percent it's basically 50 percent it's basically basically zero percent you know so I'm not going golf cart batteries are expensive anymore. The six volt batteries, you can get six and eight volt batteries. Well, you can get 12 volt golf cart batteries too. But I will tell you this much we've used uh, deep cycle batteries, and then we started, then I made a box out of uh, uh, Nissan Leaf batteries, the electric cars. Um, I, I used those batteries and made a pack out of those, uh, and the batteries we have now. Yes, but those are in paper. That. Got a point. Uh, Which ones are? The flooded lead acid. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, honestly, though, if, you, if your batteries are EMP proof and the rest of your stuff, you know, you know, you got your inverters and charging pro stuff like that, that's not. So, yeah, golf cart batteries are. Oh my God! Just... <laughs> Back in the day, but yeah, I mean, like as far as MP proof, you know, the batteries may be, but like I said, you still got all your other components that are not. So I mean, damn if you do, damn if you don't, type thing on that. Faraday box, yeah. What I'm what I'm really wondering about, you know, you know this is you know mobile home metal. I'm kind of wondering if it would kind of serve as a Faraday box itself. You know, what I mean, I don't know, but kind of interesting to find out. Well, I don't want to find out, but you know, it seems like it would help in some sort of way. It'd be good to research. But the uh, solar panels, um, there's like little diodes or something like that in there that you can replace. Um, I've been meaning to order some of those because if EMP or something like that, that's that's what it'll do is pop that little diode in there. And uh, if you got some of those diodes, you can just replace them. So if you get a lot of solar panels, figure out how to where you can buy those. Uh, there's another guy that I've been talking to. He he says that he ordered some. I'll have to figure out where he got them from because if, like I said, any type of like electrical strike or EMP, that's what it'll pop some little diodes in there. Cover it with hardware cloth. Yeah. So we're going to uh, eventually, whenever we build on, uh, we're going to take this metal siding off of it and we're going to put wooden siding on it. So I'm almost willing wanting to leave the metal siding on it and just go over top of it, you know, just for that purpose. But I'd hate to take it off and it actually do help prevent something like that. The forces replace the batteries if they can not go nine holes. Yeah. Then ground house, multiple spots. Oh, yeah. That, I've got this thing grounded in everywhere. And then uh, up on the barn, I got all the panels grounded together and then the unit strut grounded together and then everything run down the ground to a grounding rod and you know, just even the panels I have grounded really good. Well, I take the four panels I just moved. I ain't grounded those yet, but the other 12 up on top are grounded really good. Each individual panel and each individual unistrut is grounded to the ground. <clears throat> I can't <laughs> 
Oh, Lord. My buddy said, go ask your grandma. They come back three or a few minutes later. And my buddy said, what did you say? <laughs> mm -hmm. AR, can you buy them? Cheap them? Going around in years. <laughs> I made it out and popped him. <laughs> mm -hmm. You yeah. you done got flagged by Betty. What do you say? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Justin, you on that? Betty's done got you dialed in, boy. <laughs> but uh, Betty, yeah, I don't, I'm not sure. Even if you could buy them cheap, I don't know if I would or not, Betty, because them things are just they're once they start getting down like that, <laughs> uh, they make a uh, a little. Uh, I actually have one for deep cycle batteries. It's a uh, like a thing that you hook up to it, and it actually shocks the plates in there. And it knocks the, like the, the crust and stuff off the plates and kind of makes them new again. <laughs> he said, done hit the most band left. <laughs> Matt put him in time. <laughs> yep. You're in trouble now, Justin. You ain't been here five minutes and you're already getting in trouble. <laughs> he said, baby, it's zapping. Don't pop me, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> the voice of Granny said she would tell me later and that she said she ain't seen one of those around here in years. <laughs> that was pretty good. I ain't heard that one before. <laughs> hey, Green Man. <laughs> yeah, hey, Green Man. <laughs> What's up, people? Yeah. I think I need that kid and head start. <laughs> <laughs> that kid and head start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. Gonna be one of them nights. At least we ain't talking about food yet. <laughs> Until you get started. Mm hmm. <laughs> so fast, I, the I did too. I did too, Art, because I actually had to go back and <laughs> to look at it, see what it was. I'm like, dang, she's on him, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. <clears throat> Miss Betty is the chat police. Y'all better be careful. <laughs> I am that man. <laughs> I don't know if anybody else is going um, like lives tonight or what. I ain't really looked. Yeah, I haven't looked neither. I haven't seen <clears throat> St. Bernard Eckers on live in a while. I was going to say Joe ain't been on. No, I ain't seen him come on in a while. No, I haven't either. He done a video, but it wasn't a live one. Right. I don't think it didn't show up as a live. If I can figure out uh, what program I need to. To go on. <laughs> well, I had nothing, but I'll be in time. Out. Yeah, you better watch Justin. She's on you now, boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, but uh, I've been trying to, you know, I've been asking around trying to figure out what kind of a. Uh, program I need or whatever to do like a like have us in one window and then have somebody else in another window like a guest type thing I don't know. 
<laughs> with that delete power. <laughs> he was having a sewer problem. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I, I seen that where he went on there. He said something about uh, well, they wanted so much money to do a um, uh, the septic and stuff like that out there. And that's crazy. I mean, this one wasn't cheap, but it wasn't nothing like that, you know. He's talking way up there. Said, I am the definition of canceled. I feel you there, yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm here. Get y'all practicing for the larger streams, yeah. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, just get them warmed up whenever we get a couple hundred people in here, huh, Justin? <laughs> Boy, you ain't right. <laughs> yeah. I've heard that a lot in my life, too. But, yeah, I seen where he's talking about a septic, and it's like way up for like 20 grand or something like that. It's like, whoa. Yeah, that's crazy. Do you know where to get forklift better at? There was a, um, I'm a member of Facebook group that, that deal in those things. I mean, I don't know where they're at or nothing like that, but, I mean, being that you drive that truck, it, I'm sure you passed by a million times by now. My mom was popped out. That's about, I think this one was, I'm going to say six or seven. I'm not real sure, but total, you know, I, I didn't handle none of it. So we just paid the money and stayed away yeah I, you know i actually thought about going with the forklift battery at one time uh, every now and again you see them there are actually some right now on uh, facebook marketplace actually um i want to say they may be in south carolina too <laughs> just chip way back in the yard back in the yard <laughs> <laughs> I'll screw up there. <laughs> Practice for the coming struggle. Yeah. Well, if you're going to go through all that, you might as well grab a weed and use that too as the wipe. Uh oh, we're in trouble. Here we go. Mm -mm. You'll be delivered. <laughs> <laughs> she done zapped him. That's pretty good. Get him, buddy. Yeah, they ain't playing the nut. Shit, is that blocked work? That's <laughs> you. <laughs> he says, chill, a blocked word. <laughs> Green man said he chipped way back in the yard. He says, a block word. And she said, that's up to you. <laughs> Gonna keep this cat clean, people. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Don't you pull as an ivy? <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Mm -hmm. Green man said, "Nope, it's not a deleted. It's not a bad word." <laughs> Justin said, "I, I had, to. had to." That's a block block word. Yeah, <laughs> that's pretty funny. Just yeah, shat. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or as the baby says, ring around the doo doo. <laughs> I don't even know where that comes from. It's ring around the rosy, and they just start hollering, ring around the doo doo. So I don't even know what that even means. He must have been thinking the doo doo. Either he done crapped himself one. <laughs> or both. 
<clears throat> yeah. I left that in that video. Did you? <laughs> he said, I know my plants, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need to go by the um, uh, prepper store down there when I get back over there. What you need? And get a book that tells you about the... How big is that? On top of y'all's mountain. Um, the one that we had pushed off, is that the one you're talking about? or? Because we had a, um, yeah, okay, it's a pad up there. Uh, around on the very top, it's probably, uh, I'm going to say. Not real big. It's not real big. It's probably 30, 40 feet wide, and it's probably 100 foot. It's probably about 30 by 75, give or take, you know. You know, here the squatters are. Yeah, them the squatters have been here for forever. It's just they're just now wanting to bring it up. You know, don't leave your house for too long. Yeah, that's crazy. Uh, uh, I seen on one where people squatting in people's houses, and uh, they couldn't just walk in and make them leave. They had to evict them and them illegally in their house. You know, and they still had to evict these people. Mm, I, I don't oh care. No. I don't care who's watching and. What to do? I don't care if I if I walk in my house and somebody's squatting in my house, they coming out of my house. Mm -hmm. They getting evicted right then. Right then. Make it a rain collection pond. Yeah, actually, um, uh, Panhandle. What what I'm really wanting to do is I'd like to get a couple of those, like at least three thousand gallon tanks. You know, the big black tanks, and uh, I'd like to have a couple of those and put them on the very top up there. And uh, we have these uh, uh, totes. I have. 2,000 gallons of totes out here have four on the house and then four on the barn and then what I'd like to do is get like a solar pump and then once these tanks are full like they are now is kick that solar pump on during the day and let it start pumping that water up in those big tanks and then once all the water's up I let it gravity feed to the house you know and then that way we don't have to run a pump and it'll have a, a lot of head pressure from up out of here <laughs> put a gatling on <laughs> yeah What's that again? Want to have baby? Let me call it a ten pound diaper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Gatling gun or something. Spoilers. Yep. Big dogs are a good idea. Yeah. But you got to remember, we got them uh, them laggers up here, as Ashton says. <laughs> we ain't got to worry about nobody. But yeah, I really did see that on it was uh, some kind of show I was watching. They had to legally go evict these people. These people broke into their house, changed the locks on the doors, and started living there. And I think he was he lives out of state <laughs> or something. And he come in and caught them, but they'd been living there for a month or two. So he had to legally go evict these people out of his house. What the hell no. Mm -hmm. Excuse my language, but mm -hmm. not happening. Stuff would get physical right there. I promise you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, squatters. Just we're talking like, uh, uh, basically, just like if you're not living in your house, it's vacant. People just basically just break into it and start living in it. Move yourself in. Yeah, showing sure up like yeah. And there's one guy. Uh, that I watch on uh, YouTube sometimes. He's the, the squatter something. I can't remember what it was. But anyway, people contact him, and he'll go talk to the people that's squatting in the house, and he'll actually get his stuff and move in the house with them and tell them, say, well, if you're squatting, you know, you can't legally make me leave, so I'm going to come stay with you. 12 gauge would be a proper addiction notice, yeah. Oh, yeah, it would. We'd have to change the name from Smoky Mountain Off Grid to Smoky Mountain Jailbird because that's where I'd be, I promise you. Mm -hmm. 
Vacation. Came home from vacation up in New York. Yeah. That's sad. Well, um, there's so many, there's so many immigrants, illegal immigrants, and I'll call it like it is, you know, the, um, where they're busting them in, like New York and stuff like that. They don't, they don't have nowhere for them to stay. So now they're just busting in people's houses. Helping themselves to wherever yeah. they want to stay. And now I think it's either Chicago or New York are telling the citizens that they need to start taking the people in and letting them live with them. But they'll give them money, of course, once a month, you know, pay them like rent to let these people stay in their house for them. Not happening. Found her stuffed in a duffel bag, then drove off in her Acura. Yeah. I, I, I hate talking mean and tough and all that stuff, but that half stuff me in a damn duffel bag, I promise. So that, yeah. Mm -mm. <clears throat> I think we're bullied enough by the government, just to be honest with you. Tax here, tax there, tax here, tax there. You can't can't really own anything in your lifetime. So uh somebody like that's not gonna come take a thing from me, not one little thing. Mm -hmm. That get me fired up pretty quick on stuff like that now. I was trying to find that box you built, but I can't find it. Yeah, that was a long time ago. That's probably eight or ten years ago, eight, nine, ten years ago. Mm -hmm. um, and my Facebook would be hard to find. Mm -hmm. I tried though. But yes, yeah, st stuff like that's kind of a, a touchy sit subject for me. My sheriff returns that just waters. Um, here, I don't know uh, if he would or not. I don't know. I don't know him. Uh, the one over North Carolina, Hayward County, North Carolina, I, I'd almost be willing to bet that he wouldn't. I, I believe he would do something, you know, uh, but the sheriff before him, probably one of the sorriest people ever crap between two socks, just to be honest with you, but. <laughs> 27 years of drugging. <laughs> He, he means that he wouldn't give a crap either way, green man. Basically is what he's saying. Or some former performers. <laughs> we may have a conversation. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't... Here in this county and here, I don't know how the sheriff would act, but like I said, back in North Carolina over there, um, I think he would be kind of a stand-up person to a certain point. I, you know, a politician's a politician. I don't give a damn what office you hold. Uh, so, I mean, I really don't know. Uh, one thing I've learned about politicians, they're all liars, every single one of them. Every single politician is a liar. They promise you everything until they get in that office. And then you don't hear another word out of nothing. <laughs> yeah, we we uh, uh we work pretty hard for the stuff we do have, and I ain't gonna let no one take it. I ain't nobody just gonna pop up and take it. Mm -mm. But like I said, you you really don't. You really don't own nothing, period, anyway. Don't pay your taxes one or twi once or twice and see how much you own. Not only would they take your stuff, but they will put you in jail. Mm -hmm. For not paying their admission fee. I, I, like I said, I don't care who watches this stuff. I really don't care. I mean, I've got no respect for them. I really don't. Just, just simply because they're all sorry and liars and they just, they want nothing but your money if you don't have it they'll put you in jail and take everything you got <laughs> you are the sheriff of your mountains my brother yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah that's exactly right yeah yep <laughs> i've never understood um they say that um, 
you know, say politicians, I, for the life of me, I don't understand. They try to explain it, how they do this, how they do that. But, you know, if they go in office and they're worth that, you know, they got a job like, so like, so like me, you know, I go in there and I barely scrape by check to check every day, every week. And uh, whenever I come out of office, I'm a bazillionaire. So how does that even work, honestly? The rich get richer and the poor get poorer. Yeah. But I don't understand it. But they say that they can't take, like, money for this, money for that. The only thing they can take is their salary. And their salary is, uh, say, like, president is $400,000. I, th I think it's 400000 a year. <clears throat> All right. You spend, you know, uh, four years in there, one term. That's four, eight, 12, 16, $1.6 $6 million, I think, ain't it, right? Yeah. All right, when they come out of office, how they, uh, like, multi-multi-millionaires. I, mean, I don't get it. If somebody ain't greasing the pocket. Even even your local, even your local authorities and, like, man, city managers and mayors and stuff like that, they ain't got a pot piss in when they go in there. You know, they really don't. And they come out, they got all these big, beautiful homes, fancy cars. Well, now in North Carolina, that they cannot do because uh, um, I actually run for office in North Carolina one time, and that's a big no-no. The money has to go back to the Republican Party or Democratic Party. And yeah, Bill Clinton had 1.6, and after office, they had 461 that, million. That's exactly that's, what I'm talking about. That's what we're talking I mean, about. Add that up. I mean, that's something smells like shark to me right there. I don't know. My daddy always told me, he said, son, that big old pile of chicken crap in the yard. He said, that little white speck on top of that chicken crap, that's chicken crap, too. Mm -hmm. So. But I, I don't understand how that works. I really don't. But I mean, if that's the way it works, uh, I'm going to run for office again. They won't let you in? Probably not. They'll watch these live feed videos and tell me I'm... You're banned. Yeah. Trump lost 1.7 billion after office. That, that's something else right there. Uh, okay, Trump has got $7 billion. $7 billion, they said, in the bank right now. $7 billion, Not Not... M a B a billion. All right, but now they say he can't pay four hundred and sixty five million in that fine. So he does not have the money to do it. Where did the money go? You know, I mean I don't know. We have gonna do the take away thing. <laughs> Book books when they get paid for speaking and other, other appearances. appearances. I, for four hundred and sixty one million dollars, I'll talk anywhere you want me to come talk. I don't care. I'll run around the parking lot naked and, and uh Ooh. Yeah. They probably would too. It's like on Facebook, there's people post job on jobs on her. You know it's you know it's spam, you know what it is. I mean it's just bull crap spam jobs, you know, like work from home fifty dollars an hour. And I reply on our for fifty dollars an hour. I'll I'll be butt naked working from home. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'll sit at my computer desk butt naked for twelve hours. He has assets. Not cash. Much. Yeah. Sleepy Joe was here yesterday. I'm sorry. Yeah, they're going to take, they'll wind up taking Trump Towers. What that Letitia James, that's exactly what she wanted to do. She said that on news today that she was wanting to take Trump Towers from Donald Trump. So, and that, that will happen. They will take something. And, if, and that's the one she's wanting to, because it's more iconic than anything is the Trump Towers. <laughs> And then you got Hunter Biden wouldn't even go to the, he was subpoenaed to the public, uh, whatever it is, the thing he wanted. He didn't even show up for that. And they sent uh, some guy in there. It was a convicted felon to say that he was a, a good business person. I, I, convicted felon of like 
stealing money. You know what I mean? It's like, wow, you just can't make your stuff up. Yeah. Did you go see my then? Well, the tree business had like a hundred and fifty thousand thing on it, and yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, at one time it had two hundred. Yeah. Can't take money on appeal. Oh, well, they're they're definitely trying. They only gave him so many days to come up with it. They're going to start seizing assets. And she said that she was going to seize Trump Tower. We went from 10 to 6. Yeah, 7. We're back to 7. Did you go see Brandon? Yeah, let's go, Brandon. Mm -hmm. Not an hour. Our property wealthy, but cash poor. Yeah. Yeah, we got tons of stuff, but ain't got nothing to pay for it with. <laughs> right. I told her, I said, if this YouTube thing don't kick off and start making us some money, looks like I'm going to have to get in prostitution. <laughs> Good luck, John Young. Yeah. My daddy told me, he said, son, you can't sell something you can't give away. So and there we are, that one too. <laughs> so, so much for that idea. Start doing them what? Feet pics? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to start selling pictures of my feet. Who was, who was telling us about that? Angel. Oh. But there really is. There really is a thing on there where you can do that. I'm going to, what's that? My only fans? What's that? Fans we'll page? pay you to keep your clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> Hit that donut button. I'm a donut. <laughs> Donate button. Hit that donut button. Yeah, hit that donut button. You want to run it by hand? <laughs> Hell, 20 bucks, 20 bucks. <laughs> Look, you're losing people again. Yeah, they'll start Talking dropping about out. taking your clothes off. <laughs> Talking about feet pics. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't care. For, you know, for the money they said they pay for feet pics, yeah, I'll let them sell. I don't care. I'll even step in dog crap if I take a picture of them. Let it, mush up, let it mush up between your toes real good. Ew. Well, I mean, it's all in what they want. Each to their own, I reckon. Yeah, I mean, you got to give the fans what they deserve. <laughs> hmm. This YouTube thing is going to kick off and we're going to be wealthy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, baby. Thank you, Betty. She said, keep your clothes on. <laughs> 50 bucks, 50 bucks. <laughs> Just for that. Yeah, thank you, Betty. <laughs> I think she's trying to say enough. <laughs> right. Betty, don't have to the clothes on option. <laughs> yeah, that's what I said. Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Thank you, baby. You see, I'm getting a little nauseous. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. I mean, but we got to keep our options open. <laughs> oh, Lord. That's pretty funny, Betty. Don't have two dollars. <laughs> That's pretty funny. That's perfect timing too. She's like, oh no, I've had enough of this. <laughs> That's pretty good. <clears throat> that that's kind of crazy. Yeah, keep your clothes on. <laughs> yeah. We actually went and seen Rodney Carrington in a concert. Me and her and a friend of mine, his wife, we all went down there and seen him. It was actually pretty good. 
<laughs> I got that dicky dick. <laughs> well, that's not the problem, Justin. There again. My daddy always told me a good carpenter's got to have a shed over his tools, buddy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, we went singing Rodney Carrington. That was actually pretty good. And uh, he can actually sing pretty good, you know. <laughs> Hold on, look now. Smoky Mountain got his feet up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So dang it, Betty. <laughs> I was wondering where you was at there, Green Man. You went and chimed in on none of this. I figured you'd be right in the middle of all this crap. He said, are you buffering me? <laughs> she done figured out how to buffer you now. That's pretty good. Are you buffering me? <laughs> Won't let me talk. <laughs> you coming in loud and clear now, though. <laughs> been buffered and banned. <laughs> You've been silenced. Justin's been put in time out. Twice. Yeah, right? Yeah. And not by Ashton this time. Uh, Betty is <laughs> on him. <laughs> You've both been buffered and banned. <laughs> <laughs> this internet may be buffering off and on. They don't have a buffer, but... <laughs> oh, it's still looking at us. John got his feet out. <laughs> Freeze dry ground beef. Yeah, honestly, no, I haven't. No. I've never tried it. But uh, at that Carolina Readiness Supply Store that I do done a couple videos on, they have a tons of it. I, I, I canned it, but I haven't. Yeah. We don't have a freeze dryer. Yeah. Do you have a freeze dryer panhandle? I wouldn't mind buying like a small pack of it or something to try. It's yeah. Super that would be cool. The pan and a long one being said. <laughs> <laughs> he said, let's get back to the serious note. Yeah. Well, I, I'm trying I'm trying to be serious, but I, I have I got to no I've got to reply to all my constituents. <laughs> my watch is making noises now. He said he wish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't think it's worth it. I really don't. It's just too much money for that. I mean, if you if you freeze dried a ton of food, maybe. I mean, maybe. But by the time you bought that thing and you know raised food and everything like that, you just bought them, you know just buy it already in the can or whatever. Number ten can stuff. I'm kind I'm kind of I'm kind of weird about stuff like that because if say like uh like we was talking about raising rabbits, you know, just for an example. Uh, you know, you raise the rabbits, you buy all that feed for it and stuff like that, and then you, you know, you dispatch it and put it in the freezer. By the time you do all that, I mean, you've got some money invested in that rabbit, and you can go down to go grocery and buy a whole rabbit wrapped up in plastic in the freezer. They're more expensive now than what they used to be, though, and we done done the rabbit thing. Those screwdrivers are about ten thousand. Yeah, there's a uh, you can buy, you can find them every now and again for. On marketplace, it's just a few months over, like three thousand. If you want to try freeze dried stuff, back in no floor drips. <laughs> freeze dried MREs. We actually bought some of the ones like at Walmart and some of the ones at like the yeah. Carolina Readiness store. You can buy if just stay on marketplace, and you'll see people selling boxes of MREs. You know, for like 40, 50 bucks a box. And I think there's mm -hmm. twelve mils in each box, which you know ain't a bad price. So congratulations. <laughs> Back in no flow drips. <laughs> he didn't be in the bar. 
But yeah, you every now and again find out you can find them on there for like three thousand. I, I just seen one on there today actually for like thirty two hundred or something. Like that. But even if that price is just that would never be in our budget to buy something like that. No, no, no. The ones in the brown brown the, the military MREs. Are you talking about like the uh, are you talking about like the ones from Walmart and stuff like that? The I told him we tried the ones at Walmart and we tried the Mountain House. I think Mountain House or something like that. We tried them and we tried the Carolina Readiness ones. Yeah. <clears throat> but the one in Brown Packs are the military MRE. They're in the white package. Yeah. You can even get ice cream and everything. Yeah, we tried. Well, I don't think we tried the ice cream ones. I <clears throat> MREs. They after eating them. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't think they're meant to be consumed for four years. <laughs> I really don't. I mean, like, I mean, deployed out in the ditch for maybe three or four days at a time or something. Maybe. But to live on them. Well, I mean, honestly, if the world turns the world to crap. The world turns to crap. I mean, that's all you had. You do it. Eat one and you will be so satisfied, right? <laughs> Growing rabbits. <laughs> and the poops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mountain House. Yeah, that's meal. Are good. Yeah. Yeah, that's one that's one I was trying to think of. Uh the like the settlement at Walmart. We actually have a few of those put up. Mm -hmm. Not many, I mean, because it's just uh Something we, can, we got into. We, we can, can make them ourselves cheaper than what we can. Yeah, we, we actually got buy. into making our own uh, MRE type thing. Yeah. Service. Service. Just don't choose the gun. gun. <laughs> <laughs> we do a, a kind of our own type MRE type thing. We do a, what to call a, a bucket that lasts like, you know, like three meals a day for two weeks. So. <laughs> So your rations are better than MRE. Those things are, the MREs are just kind of nasty. And I'll just be honest with you, the, the military MREs are just nasty. But uh, the sea rations, they're, they ain't far behind it. <laughs> they also got them little, uh, um, they make you want to fight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> the uh, I can't try to remember what they're called. They're like um, like little blocks that you can buy. Like it, I think you can even buy them at Walmart and at the prepper store too. But you break like a block off of it and you eat it. And it's supposed to keep you for so many hours or something. I can't remember what it's called. Yeah, I think we've seen them at the um, prepper store. Yeah, they can't talk talk fast enough. That'd be good, yeah. <laughs> He's a bumper, your husband. <laughs> oh Lord. Um, speaking of jerky, um, Zach is supposed Zach is supposed to bring us some deer meat. Deer meat, Zach and Ashton yep. this weekend. And if they do, we'll try to do a video of making jerky and packaging it, mm -hmm. or at least making it. He's a smart man, yeah. Yeah, they always say a wise man listens, you know. Mm -hmm. That's I'm not too wise. I like running my mouth too much. I'm too opinionated, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, if he brings us some deer meat this weekend, we're gonna bring, we're gonna make some. But mm -hmm. we'll see. We may just have to go to the store and buy like a. What kind of meat would you even use? I mean, you can get steak or. Yeah, I ain't wasting no good steak. And make no jerk. You can make a bean and rice soup from a jerky broth. For mm. bean and rice soup for a jerky broth. Yeah, yeah. I that sounds pretty good. Actually. I need a um. 
deer. Good, yeah. I need a good jerky recipe if anyone's got one. Yeah, bottom roast round. Bottom round roast. roast. That does make good jerky. I, I need to go to. While I'm out and about tomorrow, I might swing by the store and see if they have one. Okay. I know, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I know, listen. <laughs> That's me. Got to learn things the hard I way. Turn, I turned 50 years old this year, so I'm just kind of setting my ways on me. You say brisket. Brisket. Okay. Anyone got a good uh, recipe for jerky? Lean meat makes a good jerky. Yeah. Elbow, Elbow grease. Elbow grease. Yeah. That's okay. I can hardly hear. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, buddy. I'm with you. Yeah. I'm always saying what? Huh? What'd you say? Yeah, there's uh there's two words in her vocabulary that she uses on a regular basis. I mean like every time she says something, the two words come out. It's either huh or what? Hush. Or hush. <laughs> I use that one a lot too, especially on him. We can't be perfect. Yeah, that's exactly right. Well, Miss Betty, it's probably a good thing. That, well, I was gonna say it's probably a good thing you can't hear too good in here in this room here, but they're typing. I was gonna say <laughs> have the comments. <laughs> We'd all be in trouble if, it, if everybody was talking in here at one time. I oh, wonder, yeah. wonder if you can do that. I don't think you can. Can you? Like uh, people talk to you. Oh, if everybody was talking, we'd all be talking at once, and I wouldn't understand nothing nobody's saying. Yeah. We got a video. I got a video. So jerky. jerky. Yeah. Oh, okay. Is it? It's uploaded. We'll have to check it out. My wife calls me butthead a lot. <laughs> I can read and type. Yeah, I can read and type. I just wouldn't be able to listen to. I'm gonna say I can do. At once. I can say I can read and type too, but I can barely see what's on that screen. So, it takes me a minute to focus. I don't see what it says. I'm going blind too. I'm working on my 60th year right now. Wow, yeah. I'll be, I'll be, I'm 49 now. I'll be 50 in April. April 10th. Yeah. Yep. I'm, still, I'm climbing that mountain. I'm right to the peak, and I'm about to go poof, drop off. Does that? <laughs> he said, well, in this case, I've been talking about 10 times. Right. <laughs> yep. You'll have to save that, Chris. Yeah, I, uh, I know his channel. I got his channel saved. Okay. Yeah, because we watched a lot of his yeah. videos. Yeah. Uh, I've been trying to watch all his and uh, that uh, Southern Ohio. Mm -hmm. I've been trying to watch all his because he puts out like a lot of shorts or whatever. Yeah. I've been trying to go back when I get a chance and try to watch both of them. I got to go and see. Oh, I feel like I'm starting to go blind. Yeah. Yeah, me too. Uh, my dad had, had like cataracts removed off his eyes, and I think I'm kind of getting the same. So did my dad. They actually took like a laser and buzzed them off his eyeballs, you know. I'd be afraid to let somebody cut me on the razor, but a razor, I meant a laser. I shave it off with the shaving razor. I have 400 videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think it said we already had 130, 140 videos ourselves. And I don't even understand how we've done that. In the last, that last seven or months or so, it says we've had, we've got like, 130, 140 videos. But I think it's counting these live videos and all too, though. Just to be honest. Oh, I was going to say, I didn't think we had that many. Justin, I gave you some. Boss. <laughs> Boss's son. Boss's <laughs> son. I feel like Joe Biden now. <laughs> Last time I was told, I'm um, excited now. Sometimes, sometimes stuff is like really blurry for me. Um, my eyes got to adjust sometimes or like. Whenever I get in the car and start driving, sometimes I, it takes me a minute because it's but like basically everything's blurry. I can't read like a tag number in front of me, you know, it's just like blurry. So, but if I just let let my eyes settle for a few minutes, then it, you know I can see fine. 
I don't know if that's getting old or from her pecking me in the head all the time. <laughs> Does that make him hunter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I feel like Joe Biden now. <laughs> that's pretty funny we'll call him junter <laughs> justin hunter junter i'm just a dude disguised as a dude playing another dude <laughs> You ain't right. And it's better. Like a vitamin, yeah. Yeah, I definitely need to take more vitamins, that's for sure. But yeah. I I've tried Goku vitamins. Lots and lots and lots of vitamins and I've never found nothing that makes me feel or you know, do anything any better. You know what I mean? I I have artificial lens in my eyes. I could not drive. 20,000 for both Wow. Your give a chips get less every year and year. <laughs> oh, my, my give a chips. <laughs> that left me when I was like 15. I was going to say a long time ago. Yeah. Like I said, I'm, you mean to see, yeah, I think something to do is, uh, like, uh, you know how they cut those, what, cataracts off your eyes, but they put, like, something else, kind of like a, almost like a pair of glasses, I think is what it's talking about. I think it's kind of like a, uh, if I'm mistaken, what it's talking about, like, what are them things that Jordan puts in his eyeballs? Them contact lines? Kind of like that kind of thing. <clears throat> Vitamin regimen. I want to confuse this all. <laughs> me too, me too. She stays confused. Mm -hmm, most of the time. I went to the doctor and he gave me a prescription vitamin regimen. Yeah, like I said, I've tried I've tried a little bit of everything as far as vitamins, one a days. The only thing that I actually felt anything whatsoever off of was a one a day vitamin, but, it's, but it had energy. It had energy wrote on it, and it was the one a day energy, and they don't even sell them no more. No, or if they do, we haven't found them. No, they just don't sell them now. They got like different ones that say they have energy in them. You know what I mean? Like to give you but energy, not the but not with the energy. Well, it just said it said by one a day energy on it. It's like great big green letters energy on it, and that's the only ones. And ever since then, I haven't been able to find them. And those things actually made you want to get out of bed of the morning. I mean, like, spring right up and then give you energy. That's why they don't have them no more. And now i got to drink four and five Red Bulls a day. And that's not good. That doesn't about shut you down once. Mm -hmm. Oh, and don't believe all the hype. Red Bulls will kill you. They will, mm -hmm. they will, they will take you from here because uh, I was almost a victim of that myself. Yes, he was. My wife is permanently confused for me. Yeah. <laughs> For 50 years. Yeah. I think so far... Uh, in case you guys are wondering, I think we so far we've made thirty six dollars on YouTube. If that, if anybody needed to know or wanted to know, we made. I think we made thirty six dollars so far. That's my Betty word. <laughs> thirty four eighty one. Well, she just donated two dollars. So it's thirty six eighty one. Oh yeah. She won't buffer that one. <laughs> it's a start. Yeah, exactly, Miss Betty. Mm -hmm. I 
I drink a single cup of coffee and I drink like two to three soda pops a day. Coffee actually sounds pretty good right now. It's water. Hey, I asked you before we come in here if you wanted some. Can I say I do now? Uh, no. Hmm. I asked you if you wanted something before we got started. No, I'll go, no, I'll go make it in a minute. You want me to go make you a pot? Or a cup? A pot? We don't even what have a coffee pot. What the hell are you trying pot. to kill me? We don't even have a coffee pot. No, we got the one of them little... Uh, we switched it out. Well, what's we that thing called? The little cup ones. The... It's got a name for it, though. Berkey? No, not Berkey's water filter. Actually, we have the pot still. It's in a deep freezer. <laughs> I drink the same cup of coffee and oh, soda like pops a day. Now, I, drink, I do drink a lot of uh, Mountain Dews. That's why I got the shed over my, uh, going over my tools here. Uh, but uh, I've lost like 20 pounds in the past two months. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, that's a lot. But water, now I'll tell you what, I can drink, just like get a bottle of water like we use. We buy the little single pack. Sometimes we get the jugs of water. But the, the single bottle, I can take it and I can drink it and I'll be sick as a dog all day just for drinking straight water. He's got to put some type of flavor in it. <laughs> he said, cocaine can you just keep me moving? I can stop that shit. <laughs> Keurig. Keurig. Uh, yeah, something like that. A K-cup. Yeah. The little bitty cups. I'm going to cut off the soda pop. Thing. I need to. I, there for a while, uh, like I said, the uh, Red Bull is about really, really uh, uh, took me from here. So uh, I quit drinking Red Bulls and Mountain Dews for a long time. I just drank Gatorade and stuff like that. And I'll be honest with you, Gatorade's ain't good for you neither. Twenty ten and one nine now. I bet I'm not twenty ten and one nine. Like sitting here trying to read that stuff, it gets blurry on me, so I have to stop. So let's flip quarters so he's going to go make coffee. I'll go make it. Now we're going to flip quarters. Mm -hmm. Legal eye. <laughs> mm -hmm. Bob, what do you want? You want more of this? Mm -hmm. It's hot cocoa. You want more of that? Mm -hmm. I don't know if I want that or coffee. Well, coffee would keep me up all night. i got to be up at 6 o'clock. What are you getting? Probably. I'm going to make it for sure. Hot just... chocolate again. You want me to make it? I can get it. I quit Red Bull after they made my eyes blurry and I left the bar with a hairy woman. <laughs> oh, Lordy, Justin. <laughs> and those Red Bulls make you tap your fingers. Yeah. Like, that call was like. Uh, you gotta put water in the incubator. Is it beeping? Okay. Those Red Bulls also cause like uh, major ulcers and stuff like that. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, I was drinking a lot of them. Uh, I, I'm back to drinking them again now. I don't know why in the world I started drinking them things again. But uh, <clears throat> you have, uh, let's just keep it PG here. You have blood coming out every single orifice in your body. Out of your nose, out of the corner of your eyes. And that's, where, that's what causes it, is them Red Bulls. Yeah, they'll, uh, they'll shut you down if you ain't right careful. I quit drinking them for about two years or then I don't know why. I just grabbed one out of the store again and started drinking them again. But I, I, I normally drink two of them a day. But I've noticed like the older I get, I just don't have a lot of energy. Like, you know, once you get motivated and going, you're, I'm fine. But just from your butt to motivation that's it's getting worse and worse
have it like smoke. Yeah, it is kind of, you know, believe it or not, I used to smoke, I used to smoke a pack, two packs a day. And uh, I was never addicted to them. I, I could smoke, I could smoke a pack today and I could throw them down and not smoke again for a month, you know. <laughs> Can y'all buy the 40 millimeter less than lethal stuff? Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we can pretty much get anything uh, that just say local agencies can get pretty much. Well, I carry a lot of uh, I carry a lot of less than lethal stuff in my car. Uh, you know, like um, what they call them take down balls and like shotgun slugs, rubber slugs and. They got one that's called uh, Takedown. It's got like two rubber, real soft rubber balls in it. Um, uh, buckshot. I mean, they, there's actually a, a bondman over North Carolina that uh, basically bust into a house and just pretty much point blank just shot a boy with rubber buckshot. That bondsman's in prison right now. So. <laughs> but yeah they sent that they sent that old man to i think he had some type of personal thing with that boy or something i don't know but they said as soon as he went in the house they just basically fired on him with a one of them rubber buckshot rounds and the rubber buckshots actually penetrated the boy you know what i mean it hurt him pretty bad so he was close enough for it to penetrate him and that's that's pretty close What's she jerking? <laughs> it's beef jerky. <laughs> Carry a thing also panel. It's called a JPX. Uh, uh, that's it's pretty cool too. Um, you can Google that, and what it is, you can get a two shot or a four shot. And uh, I have the uh, the two shot, and it uh, uses nine millimeter primers, but it shoots like a uh, almost like a ball, but it's like a gel ball. When it comes out, it kind of you can't can't shoot it within five feet of someone because it'll damage them. But what it does, it comes out and it's like OC spray type, but it's gel, and uh, it's pretty cool. It's it's red dye, and it comes out and hits them so hard so fast they think they've actually been, you know, and uh, and it's red. So whenever they do this number, this red, they really think they've been hit with something bad. And then by the time they realize it's nothing bad like that, then their eyeballs are swelled shut. It's, it's like five million scovels or something like that. It's, it's pretty serious stuff. I carry one of those too. Justin said he can't say <laughs> his lager. <laughs> oh my God. Betty going to put every one of y'all in timeout. Every one of y'all. Even Arkansas, and he's the popo too in here. <laughs> I'm getting trigger <laughs> happy. Old breathing choke, yeah. Yeah, that'd be pretty cool, Pan Am. But uh, Google that JPX if you ever get time. It's, it's, it's pretty cool. Try that. You'll have to go busy. It's fine for now. It can hold for a while. Is that good? You. Yes, good. Thank you. It's three and three. <laughs> Arkansas Betty's getting trigger happy. And she said, don't tempt me. <laughs> <laughs> That's three creams, three sugars. Cool. Thank you. Uh-huh. What'd you get? I got hot chocolate. I had to keep, keep it, it PG. <laughs> uh. <laughs> Justin said, he said, Dad, I always told me, son, you gotta stop jerking it, you will go blind. <laughs> he said, Dad, I'm over here. <laughs> she 
She said, I'm proud of you, Justin. <laughs> She's proud of you, Junter. <laughs> that McDustin dumped her, wasn't it? <laughs> she told me about them, y'all talking about them the other day. Mm -mm. What? What was it, left and right or something? Oh, that was Green Man. Mm -hmm. Want to know which one was left and which one was right? <laughs> I was telling them about uh, Justin. I was telling them about uh, my dad, uh, your papa feeding y'all all them, them pig nuts, <laughs> and the green man said he's gonna start calling y'all left and right nut. <laughs> he's want to know which one's left and which one's right. They're like almost, yeah. Choke. The choke just on up. The what? Oh, chokes like a shotgun choke. Green ass needle. <laughs> in the drought. See any beans on her property? No. She gonna plant some if that helps. What was that that popped up? What I just the OBS. Oh, Justin said in that case we would put green oh, my in wrong. the middle. I must the wrong thing. Hmm. I meant to mash. <laughs> I bet it can bleed Chris too. Yeah. Yeah, she can kick me out of here too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I said you may have to read the, you have to read the comments or anything for just a minute. Okay. Uh, I've got two. Nut boys. <laughs> Nut boys, yeah. That's what Green Man said. <laughs> Randolph County. Betty says, I was visualizing something else. I guess they just rust. Justin said balls and wieners all the way. <laughs> Panhandle says my friends back in Arkansas have seen a crap load of bears this year on the mountain. Arkansas said I had to try I had to try delete. Ha ha. <laughs> Betty said you can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Better get some skins and bear meat pan. He's asking for it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we need some bear meat, too. We'll make some bear jerky. And bear stew. I'll can some bear stew. Yeah, 
pin handle says we're in northwest. Okay, now the takes that takes talent AR. <laughs> Oh, Arkansas said he was, I delete myself. <laughs> he deleted himself. <laughs> no, don't do that. Green man said, don't plant no bears, brother. They'll bite you. <laughs> Green man said, heck, they eat you. Justin said, dang, now I got a double timeout coming. Yeah. And Hendel said, we're still, we still have our property, but rarely ever get to go there. You back? Yeah. Okay. Couldn't find that name nowhere in the system, so. But the name, the legal name you gave me is not in the system. There's not, not beans left out loud. What did he say? Better get some skins and your bear meat pan. He's asking for it. I deleted myself. I deleted myself. Bears not being Bears not being <laughs> We're in Northwest, okay. Now that takes talent, AR. <laughs> don't plant no bear bears, brother. Don't you. you. I thought it meant beans. But yeah, there's there's definitely yeah. bears up here. There's some big bears up here. We need one in the freezer so we have bears too and I can carry can bear me. There's a she took a picture of it. There's a bear. Uh, I have to look and see if it's still in the camera, but uh the, our, down at our gate, the camera coming into the gate, it got a bear just walking up the road. And uh, it was kind of a muddy day or whatever. And then I went down there and seen the tracks, and I could put both my both my fists like in the bear print. So, I mean, it was, it was a big bear. He was just, like, just waddle right on up the road, right on up by the house and up to the woods. We still have the property, but rarely ever get to there. Yeah, that, that's... That's what really sucks about it. Whenever you have something that you enjoy to do, but you got to work all the time to pay for it, you know. I mean, right. or not, not really pay for it, but to keep it, basically. Justin says he's in double time out coming. Uh oh! Better get the delete button ready. Yeah. Yeah, I got to where I can't see over the speaker thing again. That's better. I don't want to do nothing. I have to take it up here to where you... Okay. That's a little bit better out there for Mm-hmm. I've heard about 500 pound bears. That way, yeah. I would say this one's probably, mm -hmm. probably pushing that, you know, at least. Well, I have a client that they get four and 500 pound bears and yeah, he feeds the bears, though. Mm-hmm. One of the people she takes care of basically feeds the bears right out his door, right out his window. Mm -hmm. Black bears came morning, Grizzly. Yeah. That's why you always take a friend with you. You know, you ain't got to outrun that bear. You just got to outrun your friend. Make sure your friend's a little slower. Like Ashton says about Zach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she said, why? Yeah, you always got to have a friend with you when you go around by a slow one. Preferably one that's overweight. That's really slow. Black will jump out of a tree on you. Yeah. Why is that can't handle The only thing worse about a grizzly bear is them things can run fast as a Volkswagen bug. Black bear is pretty fast, but a grizzly bear is fast now. And a grizzly bear will stalk you. It won't just, just jump out on you. It will stalk you. I don't know. What are them we have down here? Black bear. Black bears. Yeah. All I know is they're bears on camera. Yeah, they're not brown bears. Brown, if it's a brown bear, you'd know it. They probably chase us and try to eat and us. And she'll hold those out of the house. Found the whole way down the slow. <laughs> I mean, done well, good, good, good boys. 
Send them lager boys out there and get you a bite. <laughs> that's, a, that's funny. <laughs> They'll get one out. They can bring a lager back. <laughs> yeah. At least a pitcher. Yeah. No, not a pitcher. They'll get <laughs> with a crap yourself. <laughs> Love a tree on you. Yeah, they are. Uh, they're pretty fast on their feet. I mean, it'd be kind of the buyer would have a tough time getting either one of them. <laughs> I believe Paul Ash and not run the buyer. <laughs> you get him scared enough, he'll tear out there. He'd come to the house. I had Ashton, my brother, Ashton's daddy. I had him up on that mountain with me one time. I was walking around the property line. That was right after we got the and, property. Uh, yeah. And I, I was carrying a gun. I was carrying a gun. And uh, I told him, I said, I said, don't go too far. He said, why? I said, man, there's buyers and stuff in there. There's a lot of buyers in there. Next thing I know, he, he was gone. Truck. He didn't go too far. He was gone. He like, he was out there, boy. And I got back to the back up to where we parked at. And he was sitting in the truck with the doors locked. He wasn't having it. He wouldn't have no I part of it. say he was back in the truck. Yeah, he had the doors locked and everything. He wasn't having no part of that. I said, where did you go? He said, I was getting the hell out of there. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want no part of that. He said, you said Byron. That's all it took. I was gone. He really was. A, it was me, him, and Rick. Yeah, and uh, me and Rick started talking. I turned around and looked. And he was, I didn't know where he was. It's when you walked the property line. Yeah. The second time, because we walked it when before we bought it, but then you bought it, you walked it that second time to put them little orange things up so we knew where to build the fence. Yep. That was pretty funny. I laughed, boy. I laughed. I got sick at my stomach. I was laughing so hard. And he was he was scared to death. He was serious. Yeah, I remember y'all coming. <laughs> he home didn't want no part it. of that. Yeah, yeah. Some some dogs don't know how to how to handle a bear. I mean, they just look at it. They just unless they're just trained on bears. You know, you got them old them old dogs. They train to put on bears and stuff like that. But I I think they have to train them pretty good. I mean, some dogs will naturally go on a on a bear. You know, like. But some of them got to be trained, and some of them just lose their mind when they say something like that. Be like us seeing Bigfoot. I miss old Charlie here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I do too. Yeah. Yeah, that's uh him buyers, man. Ain't you don't mess them thing. Like I said, them and brown bars, the grizzly bars, so they they'll stop you. They won't just I mean, sometimes they'll just jump right out on you, but they'll stalk you like like a daggone mass murder or something, you know. I don't like it. I don't like I don't like mm. to think about that. That's the only thing to keep me from moving to Alaska. <laughs> yep. You know uh, where our house is in Winesville? That's uh, close to what's called Plot Creek. That's where them dogs come from. Plot Hounds. Yeah, it's like three miles from there. <laughs> so that nut boy's flash. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Being a lager home. <laughs> mm hmm. <laughs> but yeah, them plot hounds come from over where, where our house, our other, our other house, about three miles from there. Some old man created that dog, like bred three, four, five different kinds of dogs together and come up with what he called a plot hound.
Oh, that's a big one. Well, pretty yeah. big. Oh, let's see my village walkers thing. Mountain wind breed. Yeah. My walkers, yeah. Some of them pretty good. And I, I just don't like them because of like constantly. I can't handle that. Drives me crazy. 24 My hours Chihuahua away. does that. Not like it. Not like what he's talking about. <clears throat> yeah, Chihuahua's pretty rough, but not like that right there. That echo all over the mountain. Hey, that's a little too much bear. This dog ain't running no bear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me neither. Mm -mm. I try not to mess with those wild animals as much as possible. Of course, half the people we deal with is about bad, just as bad, I guess. Blue ticks are whole mouth too. Yeah, blue ticks, red bone. I think probably red bone is probably about the loudest and most aggravating, I think. But well, it may be a blue tick, I'm not sure. But I'm, I think the red bones are about, about the most aggravating. But I mean, if you're a hardcore redneck coon hunter, you can, you can put up with it. Justin's his last joke beyond standby batting. Here we go. Ready? I play Around Marshall. <laughs> He said, be on standby, buddy. <laughs> Close your eyes, Betty. <laughs> oh, Lord, there we go. Uh-oh. She gonna, she gonna zap him so fast we're gonna go to say. <laughs> That's funny. I want to see what he's got to say. <laughs> Better read fast, green man. <clears throat> Did you know when you go to the house of guys, she's the boy, huh? When a guy does something. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's pretty good. He said. <laughs> that sounds like something Chris would say. Yeah. That's pretty bad. <laughs> oh, so Betty done jumped in there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. They come on here and tell me I'm a tickler. Damn, I'm a tickler. <laughs> she said so did my husband. <laughs> oh, snap. She done jumped in there with that one. <laughs> Thousand diagonal entrance. <laughs> You drive your truck up in there. <laughs> Didn't you say you need somewhere to park your truck for the night? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Lord. I think we've been better off just to start talking about food hour ago. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah. You about ready to... Mm-hmm. Make it go too, huh? Oh, oh whoops. whoops. Oh, God. She's gonna hide. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm confused. <laughs> <laughs> I think we all are, baby. <laughs> She probably is. <laughs> she doesn't know how to zap them now, boy. It's on. <laughs> she sounds pretty good. She said, told him my husband's ex. <laughs> oh, Lord. She done slapped, called him out. <laughs> Hey, you pick a number. Green man will pick a number. <laughs> Don't mess up my joke now. <laughs> I'm going with zero. He's just stay confused probably till the end of the joke. <laughs> he said you ain't gonna like. <laughs> uh oh, he must well, have already heard this one. Yeah. <laughs> I believe he's giving you a warning. <laughs> Here's he the sign. He's got her heads up to be on that delete button, brother. <laughs> That's messed up. <laughs> you gonna get us all in trouble in here, Justin? Or Junter? I'm gonna get subpoenaed in on this my myself. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, they actually did ask uh, Joe Biden if he wanted to come testify on his own uh, impeachment mm -hmm. inquiry. They want to impeach him. You know, enough votes to impeach him. All it is is a show. Way to spend money. You trained him. If you drained him. <laughs> At least I got Benny involved. <laughs> yeah, he get it from his daddy. <laughs> I get a buffer. <laughs> I get a buffer. <laughs> oh, Lord. You just got Betty fired up. This chest doesn't turn to crap. <laughs> she ready to kick every one of y'all out, <laughs> including you, yeah, including me. She's gonna hit the mute on you. Probably. <laughs> Get started on that politics. Somebody needs a mute button for me, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Zach chimed in. <laughs> it's about time you get on here, Zach. <laughs> he said, Betty's kind of dirty. <laughs> oh, 
Zach, we were talking about you bringing some deer meat down and you never even chimed in. Mm -hmm. Arkansas even gave us the recipe for the um for the jerky. Yeah. Pinto bean soup. That sounds pretty good. Pinto bean flavored jerky. Well you were doing pinto bean bread. <laughs> Cause he said all of them because ain't no love going in this. <laughs> Ashton says somebody see say pinto beans. Yeah. Ashton, Betty needed help with the delete button here a little bit ago. <laughs> she said I can't here. delete you, really or she tried. <laughs> I can't delete you, or I tried. <laughs> yeah, Ashton, you slacking. Yeah, Ashton slacking. So Zach, you and Ashton gonna bring that deer meat down? We got a recipe now. Can't delete. <laughs> Give me that man roll. <laughs> That you can actually, I, I pulled it up. You can actually go uh, uh, put somebody in time out. <laughs> you can hide them. You can remove them. All kinds of stuff. <laughs> That's what I, uh, Justin was saying. He was going to be putting time out. Yeah, you, it actually says that you can put somebody in time out. Ain't that something? Oh, I can delete you. But you are trapped. trapped. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I can imagine when we get a couple hundred people in here, it's going to be. Justin, tell us a good joke. <laughs> He's been telling them. You've been missing them. Yeah, Betty's done blocked, done blocked three or four of his jokes off. <laughs> then she got confused. Yeah. She quick on that delete button tonight, but she popping him left and right. Oh, we got 11 minutes. I've been time out twice already. <laughs> yes, you have. <laughs> Ashton, if you weren't slacking. <laughs> yeah, exactly, yeah. He probably just woke up. I need to you behave, behave myself. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> don't we all, buddy? Don't we all? Please do. <laughs> I think we got the, I think we got the whole police force in here tonight. <laughs> I'll tell him another one only if Betty lets it stay up twenty seconds. <laughs> <laughs> He's bartering now. Yeah. <laughs> Let me put no promises. <laughs> That's pretty good. Pinto beans and pin nuts. <laughs> oh, couple in the chat and Betty will shout. <laughs> Pinto beans and pig nuts. That'd be. <laughs> There's your pinto beans. Yeah. Need to be able to put like a timer on the comments, like where they don't stay on here like 10 seconds, 20 seconds. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> She's late now. It's time to go, Justin. You better hurry. <laughs> Let's hear one, Justin. He's probably typing it, Ashton. He's he's slow typer like me. Mm -hmm. Be like pig nuts, mountain oysters, <laughs> mm -hmm. beans with the sack lunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think everybody in Western North Carolina has eaten mountain oysters at one point in time or another in Arkansas. Mm -hmm. You're not from here. You don't count. Mm -hmm. You're an implant. <laughs> no one I like bendos. <laughs> oh Lord. Oh, there's no people. 
Yeah. Am I talking about pig nuts and everybody's leaving? <laughs> they say, what in the world have I got in on here? 11 to 8. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, these people are crazy. We're out. <laughs> yeah. People come in here talking about pig, pig nuts and they say, uh-uh. <laughs> Like, oh, this is a little too much. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, but I like Pintos. I can send me too. Actually, uh, actually, Betty, if you watch that incubator video I put out, if you look when I show the incubator, you see all those bags piled up up under where I put the humidifier. Those are Pinto beans, <laughs> 20 pound bags of Pinto beans. Uh oh. <laughs> Spitters are quitters, Zach. <laughs> I made the one before. This is a late, late show. <laughs> yeah, it's a late show. We had pig nuts at my wedding. <laughs> Ew. I ain't gonna say I ain't never eat them. Uh, you know, I might have did when I was a kid because, like I said, my daddy he feeds you just anything, and you never know what you're eating. But I wasn't knowingly eating one. I promise you that. Bad sign. Yeah, <laughs> that's a bad sign for a wedding omen. Yeah, that's for sure. <laughs> oh Lord! <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I always have a banjo with you. <laughs> Micro plastic. <laughs> 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 well since, since everybody else tell them i'll tell one you, uh -oh. you know what my daddy said was the best form of hand lotion say this when we get about 100 more people in here like this I'll laugh to my stomach hurt mm -hmm. microplastics <laughs> she said how old are you been she said no comprendo <laughs> <laughs> She's old enough to delete Justin's uh, <laughs> fridge and butthole joke. <laughs> see a whole platoon running if they see deliverance. Yeah, that's for sure. Speaking of deliverance, oh, uh, um, well, Popcorn Sutton, not him, not Popcorn. He's been dead, uh, Cowboy Coward got killed a couple months ago. <laughs> I said we need more comments. But I'm video's not, not live. Not live. <laughs> yeah. Get him, Betty. <laughs> I wonder if, uh, like, the comments in this would count as comments on videos. I mean, I don't know how that would work. I'm pretty sure they do because it shows up in comments section. I don't know. So it'd be comments. Ask Arkansas. Yeah, he probably knows. I think that joke got me the first time out. <laughs> yeah, it probably did. <laughs> That's 
bring it. <laughs> yeah, then people can comment and we'll get more. <laughs> comments are good, free speech. That's exactly right. It takes a lot to offend me, so I don't care. <laughs> it takes a lot to offend me. I mean, look at me. <laughs> he said, I can't delete those. Uh oh. We'll figure out how to give you the delete button on them, too, Betty. <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Actually, I think you can delete them. We can. Oh. Well, my gosh, I'll keep them PG, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Just split on it, honey. You've been on it, honey. You're smart. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Zach's not going to get off there. <laughs> the joke's turning me on. <laughs> All right, Zach. Did Ashton leave too? <clears throat> Poor sport, you never did answer me. Garden of Thun. Garden of Thun. True. We still got 10 people, but. Mm -hmm. Maybe starting until like 10.30, huh? I, I gotta run. Ten more minutes. Yeah, I gotta run some stuff. Still lost. Still lost. It. Me too, Betty. I just try to. I'm just going with it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I've been lost ever since the first. <laughs> since the first joke delete. <laughs> Maybe one more joke might do the trick. <laughs> mm. You still in here, Ashton? Hey, Ashton, I got the stuff for your s'mores today. That uh, stuff will be moldy before he ever comes back to get it. We got 11 now. That's probably Ashton coming back. <laughs> yeah, that s'more stuff will have mold on before he comes to get it. So we are still here. <laughs> Did you hear I got your s'more stuff today? Let her go, boys. <laughs> Let her go. He's sitting right beside me. <laughs> Y'all been out riding in box today, Zach? Nice. It was a pretty nice day today. Chris wants to go ride one day. Yeah, I need to get mine out and ride it. I'm still going. <laughs> I'm still going. Yeah, you're still on, Justin. You're not in time out, I don't reckon, not yet. Not today, we're coming, truck. Oh, yeah. I need to find a, uh, a Ford motor. I'd like to have a, <clears throat> like a, inline six cylinder or something like that i prefer to get a whole running ford vehicle to take the motor transmission out <clears throat> put it in a little white dump truck that's all we need good motor stuff in it mm -hmm. well we good put the straight six in mm -hmm. something cheap on guys because that thing absolutely guzzled guys with that big motor in it Mm -hmm. That motor's locked up anyway, so it don't matter either way.
<laughs> living room burnout. There you go. Nice talking, Sarah. There. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? What? Get my bike in the living room, just smoking the tires off on it. You better not. <laughs> I guess you heard. She put a shut down on that one, our panhandle. <laughs> oh Lord. But yeah, what might have me like a we got that it's like a, what is it, eighty five truck? Mm -hmm. That needs a motor and stuff in it. The motor locked down in it. <laughs> you see what it said? What's the difference between an oil thermometer mm -hmm. and a rectal rectal? Rectal the thermometer. The taste. The taste. <laughs> that sounds like something you'd say mm -hmm. too. Discussions go away. <laughs> yeah. Do that. Uh, do these? Com I haven't even looked, but do these comments like if you go back and watch one of the live videos, do these comments show up down below it like a regular video? I haven't even looked. Oh, that tastes better. <laughs> he would know, Green Man. He's eaten a lot of them. My daddy has absolutely popped his mouth full. <laughs> he said no. What, the comments don't go on there that we do? I don't know. I'm old. How do you know you can learn it? I'm using motor oil, yeah. That's true. You know, I've never looked. Like, go back and pull up one of the live videos and ship mm -hmm. it on the comments or below it. That's one thing I've never looked for. Mm -hmm. Wonder how many subscribers we've lost. Justin said, what's wrong? What's worse than going down on your grandma? Betty said they go away. Oh! <laughs> Justin then got blocked. <laughs> you done missed it, Chris. What was Same time, Arkansas. What year is your old dump truck? 85. 85. What goes? I just had to. <laughs> See, baby, now you see what happens in the military. They're supposed to be serving and protecting, you know, but they're all about telling each other jokes. Oh, we still got all our subscribers. 759. It's um three fifty. Little single axle. It's just a just a little uh, little dump. It's got like a little little dump bed on it. The dump and everything works good on it, but the motor just it just completely locked down it. 
Panhandle, yeah. Panhandle, he's just trying to keep everything all serious like. <laughs> I love you guys, yeah. I'm glad you come on here, Arkansas. Nah, I'm in timeout again. <laughs> <laughs> It has the 460 in it right now, the big block 460, but it, uh, no, we put that motor in it. <clears throat> Me, uh, our son, her dad, we all put that motor in it. It was, it was come off of a, uh, a propane generator, believe it or not, a 460 big block Ford motor was on a generator. And that's where it come off of. We just come, you know, put a carburetor back on it and crank it and use it. But I don't know if the propane itself, like, was just bad for it or what, but you know, it didn't run long. Uh, and the motor just completely seized up. I mean, it's absolutely locked down tight. And it, I mean, you could rebuild it, don't get me wrong, but it, it used so much gas that big block did. <clears throat> that thing absolutely sucked the fuel. It needs something like a straight six or something, because I mean, you ain't gonna go fast in it anyway. Yeah, I thought about doing that, but. It does have a new transmission in too. We actually put a new transmission in too when we change the motor. Here's kind of a picture of it. The front of it. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the front of it. Just an old, just an old truck. Mm -hmm. We're going to fix it up though. I'm also watching me in there. This one. <laughs> Most of the man, the solar stuff is okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to have a fan club. Every time they see me come on, they're going to turn the TV off. Turn the channel. I don't want to say that. I have to change the distributor. Yeah. Yeah, we changed the... Uh, mm -hmm. Basically, I mean, we of course, we changed like, you know, the plugs and all that stuff in it, too, you know, when we changed it over. It didn't didn't have a whole lot of hours on it, believe it or not. But it, I mean, that thing just absolutely lock slap down just from sitting too. Been sitting for a while. Mm -hmm. I mean, I lost it set for what two years before we even tried to mess with it. It was already done yeah. then. It was already locked down then. Yeah, the year at the bottom also runs pump. Yeah. I mean it when it run, it run good. It just it just sucked gas. I mean it absolutely loved gas because of the motor and stuff in it. It's just it's geared slow. And just a you know three speed transmission, automatic, you know, standard three speed automatic. And it just geared slow that I mean it absolutely sucked gas. So uh, we're thinking something like a straight six or maybe a three oh two or something in it. You know, something something small. But a straight six would be the way to go on that old thing. We just want to fix it up because it was her daddy. That's the difference between the G spot uh -oh. and the golf ball. <laughs> need, to, need to put Zach in a timeout too. <clears throat> yep. Zach needs timeout too. <laughs> she done got him, boy. Got you, Zach. <laughs> oh, Lord, she is on him tonight, boy. Get him, Betty. <laughs> <laughs> And she hit the GM quick, boy. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> that is pretty funny. Four point line in nine is the way to go. Yeah. She hit him again. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> she 
She is on what? Four point nine, yeah. Just a second, I <laughs> Dang, I it. <laughs> <laughs> gotta be quicker than Betty, Justin. Yeah. You gotta read fast. <laughs> You're like really fast. <laughs> well, I hate to, but we're gonna have to get off here. We've been on here an hour and a half. Yeah. We've been on here two Actually, hours. Two hours. For two hours and fifteen minutes. I gotta get busy, she said. <laughs> I gotta get busy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, we'll try to. If we're not back on tomorrow night, we'll do. We we'll either be back on tomorrow or Saturday for sure. We'll try tomorrow. Yeah. But... We're actually gonna try to do a live out on the front porch. Yeah. If it ain't, you know, if the weather's well, not bad. Well, if cold. it ain't raining and cold, if it's cold out there, I ain't sitting out yeah. there. I see something about. Boston, <laughs> <Boom>. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but thank you for the night, man. Thank you for the for the two dollars, Betty. Yeah, thank you, Betty. And good night, everyone. Thank you for coming on here, keeping us company for a little bit. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah, we do. Yeah, and hopefully we'll see you again tomorrow night. Uh, bye, bye, everyone. Have a good night. Uh, yeah, see y'all. Bye, Justin. Bye, bye Zach. Justin. Bye, Zach. Bye, Ashton. Bye, Ashton. bye, Panhandle. Yeah, buddy. Bye, Arkansas. Green Man. Betty. I think I got everybody. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Hmm. <laughs>